Stay up to date with the latest deals and discounts at Hypersupply.com. There's monthly offers for games like GTA 5, Need for Speed, Forza Horizon. Hypersupply.com sells the best modded accounts on every platform for GTA 5, Need for Speed, and Forza Horizon. Hypersupply.com sells the best modded accounts with fast run, high rank, or if you want characters with millions or billions of dollars, they got it. Hypersupply.com has the cheapest prices. They sell modded accounts on all platforms. Use code REBEL at checkout. Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. And in this video, I will be showing you on how to get every single color Tron clothing. And this is solo. But if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell notification as well. Don't forget to like this video. And as the video does go on, the clothing glitches do get better. Let's not waste any more time and let's get straight into the video. Now, you will need to make your way over to any clothing store on the map. I will be showing you on how to get any color Tron pants. Now, go over to the front counter, go over to the deadline outfits, and select slash buy the one that you do like. Now, you will need to back out from the front counter, open up your interaction menu, go over to style, and click change appearance. Now, you should be loading into a small room like this. Now find the apparel option and click it and select any cool t-shirt style that you do like. Back out one time, just go over to save and continue and accept the alert that shows up on your screen afterwards. And you should be loading into your random GTA 5 online lobby like this and you should see the Tron pants. As long as you save this as an outfit, it does stick and also you could glitch any sort of badge a duffel bag, change the mask, put on accessories, whatever you like onto this outfit. Now like this video, subscribe if you're new and let's move on to the second clothing glitch of this video. I will be showing you on how to get every single color Tron shoes. Now you will be needing to make your way over to any clothing store on the map. It doesn't matter which one you go to. Now make your way inside, go over to the front counter. And you will need to find the deadline outfits and purchase any deadline outfit that you do like. Now make sure you save this as an outfit at least one time. And continue to stay at the front counter. And you will need to find the section called the body suits. And at least purchase one of the first three body suits. Now you will need to make your way over to any telescope. So you could do the telescope glitch. Now once you're there, all you want to do is run past the telescope, hit right on the d-pad and pull away from the telescope. Open up your interaction menu and apply the saved outfit we just made one time. Now close your interaction menu and walk away from the telescope and you should see the bodysuit merge underneath the Tron outfit like this. Now make your way over to the mask store once you're done. Now you will need to go over to the t-shirt stand at the mask store and go over to the sport t-shirts and purchase at least one of the first five sport t-shirts now afterwards back out from the mask store and you should see you have the colored tron shoes now like this video subscribe if you're new and let's move on to the other clothing glitch of this video to the video now this glitch y'all all been asking for I will be showing you on how to get a Tron top on any of your save joggers. Now make sure you have your save jogger outfit ready to go. Now make your way over to the nearest clothing store on the map. Now you will need to open up your pause menu. Go over to online. And you will need to go over to swap character and accept the alert that shows up on your screen. Now that should put you in a small room like this. Now, this part's important. You will need to go over to the second slot and go over to edit on the second slot character. Now, you will need to make sure it is a female character. Now, if you have a male character, don't worry. Just edit the character and put the sex on female. Now, for both of y'all, if you have the female and male character and you transition the male over to the female, basically just go over to save and continue. And if you have the female character as well, 
just basically go over to save and continue as well. And both of y'all accept the alert. Now, that should be spawning you into a random GTA 5 online lobby like this. Now, you will need to make your way over to the nearest clothing store. Now, go over to the accessories. Now, you will need to remove any sort of accessories slash gloves on your character. Now, that part is important as well. Now, go over to the gloves. Now, you will need to buy the black woolen gloves now make your way over to the pants section now find this section called the utility pants and you will need to buy the black battle pants these right here now afterwards head over to the tops now on the tops you will need to go over to the biker cuts and on the biker cuts, you will need to buy the patch darted vest. Now continue to stay at the top section. You will need to go over to the bikinis and buy the black bikini. Now head over to the front counter. Now you will need to save this as an outfit on slot number two. Now afterwards, make your way over to the shoe section. Now go over to the boots. And once you're on the boots, purchase the black tech boots. These right here. Now once again, make your way over to the pants. You will need to go over to the sport pants. And buy the spotted muscle pants. It should be the first one available for you. Now once again, go over to the front counter and make sure you save this as an outfit on slot number two. Now back out from the front counter, open up your interaction menu and choose the option to easy way out. And that should be putting you outside of the clothing store like this. Now once you do spawn, you will need to open up your pause menu Go over to online, go over to creator, and accept that alert that shows up on your screen. Now you should see a menu like this. Just go over to create a race. Now create the land race. And you should see a different menu on your screen like this. Now on the race details, put anything for the title, it doesn't matter. And it goes for the same thing as for the description. Just put anything as well. For the photo, just take a random photo as well. Now, on the maximum payers, make sure you put it on 3. And on the route type, you make sure you put it on from point to point like this. Now, on the default class, make sure you put it on super so you can finish the race fast. Now you will need to open up your pause menu and warp over to the LSIA. Once you've done that, you should be at the LSIA afterwards with a job menu like this. Back out once. And you should see placement. Basically place a trigger on the road like this. Now afterwards, you should see a different menu like this. After you place the first trigger, go over to lobby camera, take a random picture as well. Now go over to the checkpoints and you will need to continue to place the checkpoints to the bottom right where you see race length hits above one mile. So the race length has to be above one mile for the glitch to work. Now once you do make it above one mile, you will need to back out twice and test the race. Now the race shouldn't be that long to finish honestly. Now the objective is to complete and get all the checkpoints and finish the race. Now once you do finish the race an alert should pop up on your screen like this. Accept that alert. Push OK. Now you should see a job menu like this. Just ignore it. Open up your pause menu. Go over to online. 
and you will need to go over to choose a character and accept that alert again. Now you should spawn into a small room like this once again. This part's important. Make sure you hover above the female character on slot number two and you delete her. Now once you do delete her and accept that alert, you should see a small room once again like this. Now you will need to hover above your main guy first slot character like this and return to GTA. Just push B or whatever platform you're on. Now that should be putting you into story mode. Now once you do load into the story mode, you will need to open up your pause menu, go over to online, go over to play GTA online and load into a invite only session and accept that alert only because you will load into a lobby faster. Now once you do load into the lobby, make your way back over to the clothing store and make sure you save your current outfit on slot number 10. And I also forgot to mention this does delete all your outfits. Sorry, but you will need to make sure you save this as an outfit on slot number 10. Now open up your pause menu, go over to online and you will need to start with a mission called it's a j thing now if you didn't have that mission available there will be a link down below in the video description on how to bookmark it now on the clothing make sure you put on player saved outfits and invite at least one person to help you out and once they do join basically just go over to confirm settings and launch the mission with them now once you do launch the mission you should see a job menu once again like this. On the owned outfits, click one to the right. Now both of you already is up as well. Now you should be loading into the actual job mission like this. Now wait about 10 to 15 seconds exactly. Then afterwards you will need to pull up your phone, go over to the jobs list and quit the job through the jobs list through your phone. And that will be spawning you into a random lobby like this. And you should see your regular saved outfit like this. Now you will need to register as secure serve and go over to the nearest street vehicle. Go over to the secure serve management. Go over to the style. Enter the vehicle. Now on the secure serve management and style, click one to the right and one to the left in the vehicle. Close the interaction menu afterwards and leave the vehicle. And you should see the Tron glitch over to your joggers like this. As long as you save this as an outfit, it does stick. Now, give this video up to 100 likes so I could drop a part 2 of this video. And let's move on to the second clothing glitch.